Hey, what is going on, everybody? Happy Friday. We're back here on the ADSR channel. Thank you all for joining me. If you don't know, my name is Tatro. I'm a music producer, beat maker, content creator, all that good stuff. And I'm here every Friday um, with ADSR, trying out new plugins, trying out new packs, but making music that is at the core of what we're doing today. Um, and specifically, we've got a new plugin to show you that actually I think just came out yesterday. Uh, U Jam Instruments just put out Groove Mate One, which you know one of the hardest things to do I think in music production in trying to make beats that have any kind of hand claps or hand percussion, tambourines, shakers, things like that. Programming those in a natural way can be a big challenge, but this plugin makes it super easy. So shout out to you, Gem, for making a cool plugin like this. And we're going to go through all the features of it today, uh, work with it, and build a beat actually uh, using it. So if you didn't know, yes, this plugin is brand new, but guess what? ADSR has already got you with the hookup because not only is it on sale for $10 off right now on the ADSR store, which the link is in the description, but one lucky viewer of today's stream will be winning a copy of GrooveMate 1 by UJAM Instruments. So, who can say? What what a value. Free or $9. If you don't win, that's okay. It's still on sale and it's just super cheap. We're going into the weekend. Maybe you need some new inspiration. Maybe you want to just pick yourself up a nice new plugin, but you don't want to break the bank. This is a good way to kick things off, kick off the weekend. I want to say hello to all my friends across the different chats, Facebook, YouTube, etc. What is going on, Taylor Deemer, Drunk Bishop? Uh, my dad is in the chat. My dad, my parents are visiting this weekend, and they're actually staying. So my dad's right out there watching the stream. Can you imagine? Uh, Song, the Ivy Brothers. Hello, welcome. Aditya, hello. Thank you for being here. Watch out, Joseph McCaffrey does not have mod powers in this chat, so... If you all wanted to make fun of him, now would be the time. And I want to say hello to my friends on Facebook. What's going on, Hassan? What's going on, Mitch Parker, Renee? Um, and I hope I didn't miss anybody. Thank you all for being here. But yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on both chats. So as if you have questions throughout the stream today, please let me know. And I will try my best to answer them. So we'll see what happens. But I'm excited to make some music today with this new plugin. Um... We're planning something cool with ADSR, and I believe it has been announced, but it seems like we're going to be doing production challenges every Wednesday. Maybe ADSR can just confirm that in chat that I didn't just leak that on accident. But I think on Wednesday, we will start our first production challenge, and maybe we even have a link to it so people can uh, people can participate. So it's a cool way for me to uh, listen to some beats that people do under a specific challenge. I'll also do the challenge, and we'll all come together and kind of see what we can come up with. Hey, Pendulce, nice to see you. But why don't we get into the plugin today? And I'll talk more about that in a moment. GrooveMate 1. So what do we have here? Like I said, um, your typical tambourines, claps, shakers, hand percussion, very, very hard to get right um, when you're programming them. Because, you know, it, it a lot goes into programming MIDI. Like if I just make a new MIDI clip here, for instance... Right, if I wanted to program a, a shaker, first I would need to find a good shaker sample, but a shaker sound is not the same. Do I have a shaker here? I do have a shaker here. A shaker sound is not the same. If I go like this and this, that's two different sounds, first of all, so that's a challenge. And then to start with the rhythm, I'm putting different accents, which if we were going to translate that to MIDI, that would be different velocity. It's just like a, a very complicated sound to... Uh, program unless you're going to record a live shaker which not everybody's going to do that and you know maybe you don't just have the production resources to record an actual shaker but we're solving that problem today because we've got this cool plugin which not only has the ability to be played as like a one shot so as you can see right there and also let me show you I'm working with the Akai and Piki Mini today so we've got those first uh, five keys actually six keys that are all one shots. Corresponding to our first collection here, shaker, tamb, tambourine accent, slightly different tambourine samples, I believe, clap, and shaker. 
Okay, but what about these next uh, six? Well, we actually have some phrases here. Ah, that's shake, 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 shake. And then this is a soft phrase that combines different patterns. We have a fill version. And then we have a full version. We have a stop button in case we latched it. And then we have like the super busy version. All right, so all that to say, you have the ability to do one shots, build up your own patterns, but then you also have the ability to use the preset patterns that we have here. So there's a, there's a couple ways we can work with this, but let's just go over the interface. So first of all, there's a collection of different patterns, different sounds that we can pull from. They all have these kind of, some of these cheeky explanations here. A good counterpart for the shaker quarters, especially when panned left and right. Let's just switch to, an, to another one and see what we get. We can see that that already is a different pattern. Full. And then busy. So that's pretty standard. And of course, you don't have to use a MIDI keyboard. I'm clicking right on these sounds and I'm getting them. And say you didn't want to have to hold down these to get the phrases, we can hit latch, latch. Um, that's pretty universal across different music production devices. Like an arpeggiator, if you hit latch, you don't have to hold the keys down for it to continue playing the phrase. Same thing here, it latches on. I just press that once, and there we go. Let's scan through a sound. Now, how would you ever program this sound is my question. It has so many little nuances in it. Um, so obviously you see right below the latch, we have a, a volume knob. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. We can change the level. Then we have two uh, knobs here that we can change the character of the sound. So mix-wise, we have the ability to give it just different characteristics, right? You see that there, standard, sweetening, fattening, vintage, wide. We can hear how these sound, these kind of... Can also have an effect on the stereo field of the sound. We can adjust the level to which this is actually affecting the mix. Vintage, obviously, creating a totally different sound there. Maybe we'll just go standard to stay safe. But as you can see, I can dial that into different degrees. Then we got reverb, which we've got a few different kinds. Wide room, warm plate, old spring. Let's demo these for a moment. We've got a knob here as well to mix that in. Each with their own distinct characteristic. Dotted delay, which is a fun little time effect there. But cool, I'm gonna keep it on wide room. I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. That's easy. Now we can lock that in if we didn't want to actually change that at all. So as we scan through, because if I unlock that and we scan through these different presets, you'll see that these knobs will start to change. Let's say I really like the settings here, I can lock it in. And we can keep these uh, settings regardless of the preset we go to. Now, I just realized my DAW is set at 170, which is maybe we could slow it down for, for showing this example. Uh, and you can see that it does indeed respond to my DAW's tempo, which is important. You like the polywog, Taylor? Yeah, my mom made me a bunch of these crochet Pokemon for my birthday. I'm trying to swap them out, and since the UJAM has this like blue tealish color, I want to get a blue one in on the action. Okay, so this is the that's the basic geography, I guess you could say, of the plugin, and you can see there's obviously a, a bunch of different selections of sounds and patterns. One other thing I just want to make note of, and then we're just going to start building a beat with this, is our little timing icon here. So if you miss that, that's that little metronome icon, and this is interesting. Because right now it's literally just uh, set to no on. So if I press a button, great. It's going to immediately play a sound. Um, however, it's got kind of this like built-in quantization feature where, especially with phrases, this will help a lot. But you can set it to quarter, eighth, or sixteenth, um, basically to be synced up with the time of your DAW. Now, there's no time running right now. Um, but it's kind of like a record quantization where if time was running with the metronome, Let's turn that off. Then 
It basically is not gonna let me play out of time. Um, and not just that, but especially when you're playing with the phrases, if the phrases got off time by even a little, it would not sound very good. Um, so that's there to help you. We obviously have a swing function here. Song position is very interesting because if we go back, I'm gonna leave it on song position here, and I roll time. I don't know if I can demo this properly, but it is. It is, uh, how can I describe this? So when I am shaking a shaker, right? If I'm at a certain part of a song, and I just start on the downbeat, I can just start shaking it and go to town. But what if I want to play a pickup to that downbeat? It would sound different. So like the song position setting makes it so that you can, that it follows not only the time of your DAW, but the place it is in terms of uh, the downbeat in the bar. So it wouldn't make sense to have a, a downbeat accent sound come in on beat four of the bar. Instead, if you use the song position setting, it actually will do a pickup for you and the downbeat accent will land on the downbeat. It's smart enough to know that. That is a very, um, that is a very specific feature that I think will come in very handy for a lot of songwriters and producers, um, especially if you don't want everything to have to come in on a bar line. And you know, my usual solution for this has been in the past, especially hand percussion and shakers, natural sounds like this, has been to just find samples because it's some it's way easier to find, um, or it was in the past, way simpler to just go find a sample of somebody playing a pattern um, than it was to try to program it yourself. But not anymore, because there's one more feature I'll show you before we dive into making some music. Say you really like this pattern. Love it, right? This is a great pattern. What if I want to slightly edit the MIDI, or if I want, to, what if I wanted to take this MIDI and put it on a different track? Well, I can because there's a little click and drag option here. And since this is just playing from the plugin anyway, once I started to get going with my track, I'm gonna need to do this because I don't want to just have to leave this running the whole time. Unlatch it, make the plugin window go away. And now I've got the full MIDI information here of that pattern and all those little nuances. Look at this velocity. Like, look how tedious this would be unless you were playing it in perfectly, getting this a very natural sound here. That'd be very hard to do. But luckily, it's doing the work for us. And you can see that part of what makes it what makes it such a natural sound is not everything is super, super locked in time-wise. There's some spread here, though it mostly is on time, but if you think of a natural hand percussion instrument, it's not always perfectly in time because it's played by a human, not a robot. So let's... So now we've got the MIDI. But let me jump back to the plugin because then we can start combining things. Uh, I can grab the full version. You know, we've got soft, full, busy, different, obviously, uh, different iterations of the same pattern that involve different hits. We've got that full, and then we can of course drag in the fill. Not to mention that this also gives me the ability to cut and combine and reorder as I see fit. That little triplet feel there, there is interesting. But yeah, I could just slice up this MIDI and who knows if it's gonna sound good or anything, but you do have the options. So you can see I've done this combination now of the full, the soft, and then the fill to make this new uh, four bar pattern. Who knows what this is gonna sound like? Sorry, three bar pattern here. Let's extend that. There you go. So you can kind of chop it up and play along with it that way. Hassan says, freaking sweet, nice. Renee seems to like it as well. That's great. The production challenge is live, by the way. I'm seeing that in chat. So we're starting a new production challenge coming up this week. So get ready for that. Um, vocals and drums, I believe, is our first challenge. I'm very excited to dive into that challenge. But hey, what do you say we make some beats today? First, well, obviously my plan 
is to build up an entire beat using, well, not the entire beat, build up an entire beat that's based on uh, a groove that we get from our, our friend GrooveMate1 here. And by the way, on the half hour is when I'll be announcing that giveaway, so please do stick around and I'll let you know what emoji to drop to win a copy of this plugin today. Let's scan through a couple more of these grooves and I want to see um, what we can do. Actually, let me pick the BPM first. That probably makes more sense. Sure, I'll work at 130 today. That works. And let's hear what we have here. The Beach Boy, that's funny. We got a little Beach Boy vibes. What are you all thinking of this plugin so far? Whoa, we got a celebrity in the chat, everybody. Sanjay C. Sanjay, isn't it your birthday today? Happy birthday or happy belated birthday. I think I'm right. Welcome, Sanjay. So I like all these. In your face is great. Um, what can, let me just keep playing through these. I want to pick one because we're going to build off the whole track off of it. So. Elementary school. I think this is funny. Hypothetical scenario. Teacher tells class to play at will and chaos doesn't ensue. That is quite the hypothetical. Uh... I like that. All right. I think I'm going to probably. That's nice. Full version. All right. I'm going to keep going. Known as both a Caribbean pattern as well as a particularly spicy sauce. The Dancing Boomer. All right, nice. I think I'm gonna start with a very, some very basic shaker patterns here. Cause that's what I'm always looking for in my track. It's like good shaker patterns. So let me not mess around too much here, but I'm just gonna grab the simple MIDI clips and drop them into the timeline here. So I have them full, busy. I don't know uh, which ones I'll use when just yet, but I will use them. Um, is it worth? And then I can always jump back and add more one shots. You know how it goes. Let's continue on one more. Should we combine this with tambourine? Because what we could do is have hmm, a couple. What's the fill sound like for this? I think we could definitely use the clap as well. And I'm gonna, just gonna keep this soft. Okay, enough of you with the latch. Let's jump back. Oh, I kept those from before, but that actually sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna keep that initial pattern that I chopped there. And let's just use that. We've made something new. See, this is why this MIDI feature is great. All right, let's loop that. I actually want to replace this one. Boom, there we go. Best Tatro gift equals a, a Tatro. Best birthday gift equals a Tatro group. Well, Sanjay C, everybody, happy birthdays in the chat for Sanjay C, please, over on YouTube. All right, I'm feeling this little initial groove that we got going here. LA Winter says, it was weird. I was just thinking the other day that we need a simple perk plugin that doesn't do anything fancy, just basic patterns that fit in a mix well. I agree. And it's just a little more freedom. Like instead of now having to go search for a loop or something that maybe doesn't, that's close to what you want, but isn't exactly what you want. Here you have the freedom because you can MIDI program it and then you can even play in the one shots. So I can see myself using multiple layers of this for sure. Um, should we start right off the bat with an 808 to really set the tone here? This is another plugin from ADSR as well. Oh, let me arm it though. Let's find a, a heavy hitting 808 for today. We can go heavier than that. Destroy your speakers. That should be pretty heavy, right? What key should we be in? Give me a minor key, somebody. First one I see in chat. Fame. 
system sounds good. Wow. Good thing about this is we can crank that distortion. And we can add glide. What's up, Kyle Gray Young? It's going well. Is my neck feeling better? I mean, like, slightly, but thank you for asking. Not really. It doesn't hurt so bad when I just sit in a chair like this. I think it's gradually getting better, but not significantly yet. But I appreciate you asking. Thank you, Kyle. Um, you could so have that bass, yep, bass slap or whatnot with them in the background. Yes, I feel that. F sharp minor is the first um, key, key that I saw from Alexander in the chat in YouTube. Thank you. All right, but let's actually play around with this groove and then we'll build up a whole drum section around it. Something like that, right? We could get away with that. I gotta put, go up an octave on the keyboard. We'll get that going. How do we feel about that? That's an eight bar phrase. So all I'm literally gonna do is duplicate this. And I have more over here. So maybe we just swap this out and put a little fill at the end. That should be fun, right? But maybe I extend this so there's no break. You think we should keep the clap on the two and four? I can add that in here. What note is the clap? The clap is on E, I believe. Yep. So I go to this pattern and then I just can add that clap in. Oh, let's add on the right beat and we'll be good. All right, and now we got this like custom built pattern. All right, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm going to put the metronome on so I don't lose the pulse. And now let's actually record that if I can remember what I just played on that 808. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Why did I not start on a downbeat? That's odd. Here we go. One more time. Three, four. One more time. That'll work. I think there's like one note I played off there, but hey, we can make this work. Get this quantized and let's make sure our downbeat got hit there. Make sure we're all lined up. Cool. And hopefully this is not too destructive with the triplets. All right, let me dial this 808 in a little bit here. You guys like the distorted version better? All right, what do you say we add some drums now? Let's make this hit hard. I have this pack from ADSR, which is a great one. Anybody watch the Grammys? What were your thoughts? Lowest watched Grammys in a while. 
is what I'm hearing. But same for the Oscars. So I think people are just over watching award shows where people are calling in on Zoom. I just don't think it has the same magic. Not, uh, not that it had magic before. Yeah, I have this ADSR pack that's like Grammy-nominated artist. Maybe some of these artists turned into Grammy award-winning artists. Who knows? Let's build up drums with this. We find a good kick. We're going for a hard-hitting beat this morning. It's Friday, you know, it's the weekend. We can go for it. And what I'm going to actually do is do this as a four-bar loop so we can get through it a little faster. And you know what might be easier is to kind of just copy this 808 pattern. Oh, drop that into the right track and we'll be good. So I'm actually just looking at the 808 and I'm going to see where the hits are and drop in my kick accordingly. Making sure I'm hitting all the right. I won't hit every single one, but I'll do my best to hit, you know, the strong down beats. So this will sound like this. All right, let's keep going with this. I'm obviously gonna hit these down beats. So let me just get that out of the way. And then, as much as I can, we'll get these extra hits in there. And of course, once we get a nice snare or clap, it's going to really fill it out as well. But all based on this initial groove, which don't forget that this is $9 at ADSR today. And a, a lucky winner, in three minutes, I will announce the giveaway. Oh, it already, there already is a clap, but should we back that clap with something stronger? Got it. Okay. So maybe we don't back it with a clap. Maybe we back it with a snare. Like a nice trap snare. Oops. Yep, I'm just going to match this up with the clap. extra hit feels good and we'll add some fills in here as well all right i'm gonna get rid of the this one in particular how do we feel about that I'm going to add one more of these and just emphasize a single hit, the, probably the mm, second hit. But what I'm going to do is just throw a reverb on this. This will just blast it out in the space. Decay time. Doesn't need to be that loud, though. That's for sure. Um, so I'm going to push that all the way back. And you can see I'm just emphasizing one. Maybe I'll do it on more than one, but let's hear how it sounds. Juan says, glad to hear you got Stranger on the team. Some good, Got some good stuff going on. Yes, Stranger is a great producer. I've tuned into a couple of his streams myself. So hopefully you all are checking out because there's multiple streams on this channel a week. It's not just me here on Fridays and Wednesdays coming up this week. But there's lots of opportunities to learn from different producers. And you should learn from as many as you can to see like really what workflow you vibe with, that sort of thing. Let me move on and, and grab some, potentially some top loops. Now we've already got the shakers, but we do need that typical hi-hat, right? These are not bad, but I just really just want a easy, easy pattern. Cause our, we're getting our groove, of course, from the UJAM plugin. I wonder if this sample will fit better. I'm not going to agonize over the hi-hats, that's for sure. But let's at least see what we can do. Because we could mix a couple samples. Oh, should we do a mixture? Will that make it sound more natural, you think? Yes, I think we will do that. Let me just go ahead and duplicate this pattern across and then we'll add some like rolls in between. Uh, 
All right. Like I said, rolls in between. Give me the shortest one. That number one seems short. So let me drop it in, and I want to get it as short as possible. And I like that little cutoff sound. Little fill like that. Let's let's kind of copy exactly what I just did, but with a different sample. Well, they get wider and wider as we go. Six is fine. Jump in here, just like this. So this is another reason I like working with drums on the timeline, because you get to see everything so clearly. Easy fills like that. I don't have to play it in at all. Easy, just like that. Simple fills. And I did hear a good open one here. Nice. Again, these are from the Grammy nominated pack from ADSR, um, which I've been diving into a little more recently. Let's get some of these contemporary sounds. Let's see what this sounds like. Now, since there already is a fill there, I might save this open hi hat to lead into this snare where there's not much happening. Let me go here. How do y'all like that? Okay, I feel like we've got a nice little groove going here. Oh, we have some kind words in the tap chat from Eugene. I love ADSR. When I run across you guys, sam the sample manager, it changed my life. I love the way it organizes my folders and files for preview, drag and drop. It's awesome. Definitely recommend it to anybody sitting on a lot of samples and kits. It's awesome. Nice. Like that. Uh, do musicians have weaker ears than non-musicians? I don't think so. Weaker. I don't know what that means. What program even is this? This is Ableton Live. All right. Um, weaker ears. No, I think musicians need to do, do a lot to protect their ears for sure. Like I'm actually, I have these headphones on over my hood, so I'm not actually hearing all of the frequencies that I could be hearing. So it's coming in a little harsh. One thing, one interesting way that I've seen people um, make their hi-hats a little less um, monotone, not monotone, but a little, because they're so repetitive, right? They're kind of just drilling into your brain. You put a little frequency shifter on here. So now it's kind of dancing a little bit. And if you pull back, you can either put the amount up and pull back on the dry wet or put the amount down. I don't want to have the amount too high though. Nice. Now let me push this kick a little bit. I'm going to pull out some of these more harsh frequencies. All right, we have a very, very basic uh, drum situation here. I could even shave off some highs, probably. Not too much, though. But I am guilty of mixing my drums too loud, usually. Is anybody else guilty of that? gonna bring everything down in the mix a little bit all right let's add a synth to this i have some good serum presets from adsr so why don't we continue on and add some proper synths now i have this cool pack which i believe is an ariana grande inspired pack let's see what we can get from this a little bit of bells on top we're in f-shop minor right i don't remember What's up, for Shane? All right, that's good. A little bit of bells will fit pretty well. I'm gonna wash it out with reverb, I think, whatever it is. Up 
an octave. something a little less in front. I think I really did like that initial bell sound. Let's jump back to that. Yeah, something like that. Something minimal. I'm trying to trying to do like a little bit of a less is more kind of vibe with beats lately because sometimes I overproduce, you know? Two, three, four, one. No, let's start with A. The third one. That's good enough. And that was an eight bar phrase, but I recorded it in a four bar loop. So let's just go ahead and move it over. And stretch it out. And I'm just going to quantize that by sixteenths. Let's get everything hitting and reacting to the uh, kick because, you know, it's not all gelling as much as it could at the moment. Compressor, do I do it to the little groove percussion? Probably. Sidechain input from the kick, threshold down. Great, let's get that going. Now on the 808, I just want that initial hit and I don't want it to be too much. And we got that. All right, I like this snare, but I'm gonna consolidate it and maybe shift it down in pitch. I'm a Tetro and ADSR fan, says Miguel. Amazing, thanks. I uh, now bring in a lead, maybe arpeggiator, lighter side of the keys. Yes, I think that's a good idea, Renee. Thank you for that suggestion. What up, stranger? Hello. I don't want to go too low, but we are doubling that clap. But I don't want it to be too harsh, but I think just a little tone down there is fine. Yeah, so when I do drums like this, a lot of the times what I'll do is I'll consolidate these. And I can just do this, even though some of them are already consolidated. Because I, I want to move these patterns easily, right? Like I want to be able to duplicate them and work with them as a section. So now, instead of having all those little hi-hat clips, I've got it all as one clip and then I can duplicate it and then we can have our proper eight bar loop. It was just faster to work with that four bar loop for the drums. Thanks man, I like your stuff too. I, like I said, I was watching some of the Stranger streams. And you all, you know what I like about Stranger? His live Ableton live template because he has very nice pleasing colors obviously I've tried to do some custom colors here but his color choice is very nice I'm, I'm an I'm an aesthetically driven person as you can tell all right what are we adding next a little arpeggiation or something that's what somebody said we could even add a, some strings or something would work well Let me jump back into that same pack What do we have? What's this pad? Something with a lot of reverb, maybe? That little just repetitive thing 
And this is just like when I'm building beats like this, this is just the initial eight bar kind of loop. And then you go from there and you separate things out. So sometimes I'll come up with ideas that I have in mind. that are not actually going to exist at the same time as all these other ideas. So it might be a little busy, but I know all these sounds work in the same world. You know what I mean? And then we'll spell it out in an arrangement where everything works a little better. I forgot to announce the giveaway, but hey, everybody, we're giving away. Well, I did announce it, but here's what you got to do if you want to enter the giveaway to win GrooveMate 1 today by UJAM. Um, since this is a percussion uh, plugin, everybody, why don't you drop a percussion emoji in the chat? drums and you'll be entered to win this plugin for yourself if you don't win today that's okay because it's on sale on, at adsr for nine dollars so if you don't want to break the bank you want to get yourself a new plugin for the weekend a little inspiration um you should consider picking up from the store but everybody go ahead and drop a percussion emoji in the chat and we will choose one lucky winner to get the groove mate one which is a nice little tool Could even kill these. All right, let's mess with the room a little bit. Maybe we need to kill a little bit of the reverb. I'm gonna unlock this. So we are on that dry room, and we do have this turned up to sweetening. It actually works quite well. Let me mute this for a moment, uh, mute that track. Let's add something new. Let's use that pitch glide. So I'm just using the joystick on the MPK, which I usually don't do. We lay that down. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Right like that, right like that. That works well, and then we bring that lead back in. We got lots of drums in the chat. That's what I like to see. Isn't there maracas though? Nobody's doing the maracas yet. What else do we have in this pack? say strings or something right to be too cliche you know but let's just keep playing around with some sounds or let me duplicate this section actually and let's maybe make a kind of a breakdown section just something a little bit different that carries over some of the same elements though maybe even we add a new groove here from GrooveMate. collapse standard jump here why don't i hear you
Yes, let's use this to do one of those traditional like clap fills. Yes, and we'll just keep using this. We used that fill already, but we can use it again. Unlatch. All right, so like I said, we're going to do something new here. I'm just going to start not with that one, but with this one. Put that here. See, I'm just reordering some of the MIDI here, chat. It's very simple. And we'll build like a little what I would probably use as a, a pre-hook section or something using some of these, because I want to introduce a new synth sound, but I don't feel like a verse section would really need it. So let's listen to this. I almost like that steady clap. And maybe that comes in a little too early. So let's just have that there. And I might even drop the kick here. So let me go ahead, I'm just gonna turn these off for now. Good, but I want to extend this by one beat. Nice combination of those of that clap pattern for sure. And let's slightly alter the 808 pattern here to just be like a single note. Not that note. Let's do the pitch bend on that as well. Build a little new section here using some of the same elements. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, but I don't want it to kick back up, so let me hold it down for longer. That's a little too fast. Gotta get this technique down. Two, three, four. bad at the end, but I can keep, use these single notes for sure. Let's cut them off. Let's just use the automation to cut them off. Right like that. No, 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 no keyboard. Just automation. That's a lot better, right? I don't, just don't want to have to mess with the like release on the plugin, so that'll mess with my other pattern. And I'll just turn it off at the end here. Easy. Chat. What's everybody's musical plans for the weekend? I need to know. Spending some time in the home studio. What's the plan? All right, let's get a little string action or pad or something. Do we cut the hi hats maybe? why I'm just having I just feel like this track needs all these bends it's working out pretty well I'm just gonna try it try to record it background I think it's got to be an A there. Let's bring that down. 
be my screen again. A. Excellent. What does this sound like? Up an octave with a double? All right, I'm going to keep that up an octave. Let's go with one more synth. I just think we can add like one more lead or something. Oh, Sam Ray's got a machine of micro. That's what I'd like to hear. Stay, I like to stay in one pack. It just makes things easier. I like the boots and claps from Carlos over in the Facebook chat. We're already using that. Yeah, that just has too much reverb on it, but I'm the one who put the reverb, so. I'm just gonna dig through a couple more sounds and then we'll just play around a little more. Are there leads in this? There's roads, soft patch, strings. Oh, I could use that 808. What's this ARP? Well, somebody did suggest an arpeggiated thing earlier, so maybe we can go ahead and arpeggiate something. Uh, MIDI effects. I like that. Let's go down on the arpeggiator. Something like that. Everybody thinks of Stranger Things, I feel, when, when there's a downward direction uh, arpeggiator. Yes, I'll do that, but I'll play the right notes. So maybe it's like no 808 there. Right, I'll play with that in a minute, but I think it's like no 808 on the downbeat. I'm gonna do that. I could just... Uh, capture it, but let's just play it again for old time's sake. Something like that. I know I reattacked that. No, I did not mean to do that. But let's go ahead and quantize and we should be good. Get that to start on the one. Should I show you my screen or what? What's up, Mike Dima? Hello, hello. Um, okay. What I think is no 808 here at the beginning, and I'm gonna just gonna turn it off. Maybe no 808 till the second half. All right, so we're coming off that main section and we'll have it lead up to that. There's like probably a couple things we can do with some of the sounds in that pack that I was using. throw a couple of risers and stuff in there and we'll be perfect. Um, I mean, one thing that maybe is worth trying is let's add a vocal synth here. Not a vocal synth, but I do have this harmonic vocal samples um, pack. We're gonna throw a word into the simpler. Can you call, follow, leaps, right, face, lost, true, alive. That's a good one. Reason, see, Let's try C. Sometimes I don't like to be able to identify the word people are saying, but let's see if we can make this work. I don't know if we can, but it's worth trying. C, C, C. This. 
Reverb up. Side chain compressor on. We could definitely make it work. Ask and not but I need like a longer. Perfect. Is that longer? Is the end of it? Maybe. Fine, what's it sound like? I kind of just want one. Leaps hurt full. This will be the last um, element we add here. Down. Whole night push. Why not? Grab that Lost. F minor one. Hurry. Hi. Hi is fine. Hi. That should work. Nora's music, what is up? Not only that, but one thing I'm going to do here is make an audio track. Um, resample this and then make a little riser out of it, potentially. Just like that, I think. I just want to get that reverb tail. Turn this volume up a little. And turn the side chain off. Um, I'm going to put this MIDI here. So this is just, if you wanted to recreate this, the way I'm going to do it easily right now is arm this, put a MIDI note here, arm this for recording, go ahead and record this, one, two, ready, go. Now we have that as audio. Clean one bar here. I'll just crop it to make it nice and even. And we can reverse it. Now we have a little riser going into our section. Get some lows out here. What does this actually sound like? Now I could cut it right before that little... Right before that. That'll probably sound a little better, right? And we could even add some reverb to it, so it's even bigger. Here we go. Let's hear it in context. Coming up on this new section. Now if we just... Put that note there. Why not? All right, this is fun. All right, who won the plugin today? That's what I want to know. Who won? Groovemate One by U Jam. This was a fun little plugin to play with. Don't forget that this is on sale. 
um, on the ADSR store. So if you're not the lucky winner, that's okay. It's an affordable plugin, very clean interface, very simple to use. Hopefully I explained it well. I think I did. We were able to use, do quite a bit with it. So we were able to kind of create our initial groove of the track. It's a nice shaker clap pattern. And we did that actually by combining a different, a couple different patterns from within the plugin. Basically just by clicking and dragging MIDI from these patterns and actually chopping a couple different ones together, including a fill. Be very hard to recreate on my own. Nice. And then we did our little like clap build up situation there, which we also chopped up. And that was the basis of the groove of our track. And of course, if you like any of the sounds that you heard, all these sounds are available on ADSR, including the Serum presets. Now we could even use this again here. Let's bring it down an octave, see what it sounds like. very subtle. I could boost the gain on a little. Winner, winner, Carlos over on Facebook has won UGM's Groove 1. Um, hey, and guess what? ADSR is always so kind. Shoutouts to Aditya and Sam Ray. We've got a copy of the packs nominated and grander for you to mess around with while you're making music this weekend. Amazing. Make sure you guys contact ADSR so you can collect your prize. What did y'all think of the beat today? It's simple, but I think it's pretty good. I had a lot of fun. Like I said, any way that I can make better shaker and hand percussion patterns without having to search through the samples that maybe aren't exactly what I want to do, I can program them accordingly, or I can work with some of their pre-made patterns. It's I'm definitely going to be using this going forward. And you see that I don't just say this because we're on stream, because you see me continue to use the Saucy 808, which of course I used for the first time on stream with ADSR. And now it's like one of my go-to plugins. So some of these plugins provide real utility. All right, this was fun. My friends, I hope you enjoyed the stream. If you did, make sure you subscribe to ADSR's channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss a future live stream. Like I said, I'm not the only presenter here. There's other amazing producers doing live streams on ADSR as well. So make sure you turn notifications on and catch them. Um, what else? Production challenge starts on Wednesday. So if you're up for a challenge and you want to just do like a fun community thing and you want to participate in some of these streams, make sure you check out all the details on that. They have been posted in the chat. Um, so please check in we're going to be making a track with only vocals and drums which should be very interesting i already have ideas bouncing around in my head it should be a, fu a fun challenge but i'd love to hear what you all come up with but you'll also be able to tune in to see what i come up with so that'll be a great little stream thank you all for being so supportive in the chat if you don't know i have my own youtube channel youtube.com slash tatro my name is in the title so all you have to do is copy and paste it into the youtube search bar and you'll be able to find it and I do a stream tomorrow night where I'm doing track reviews for channel members and everyone else, but channel members get priority. So make sure you show up to that stream if you are interested in that. Carlos, please make sure you check out the details from the ADSR because uh, you did indeed win. So Carlos, make sure you check that note in the chat because you couldn't, couldn't tag you for some reason in the chat. But you did win. So make sure you just get into contact with ADSR. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been a fun stream. We'll do more next week. So I'll see you all Wednesday for the production challenge and again on Friday because I'm sure we'll be checking out a cool new plugin or pack or just making music in general. So hope you did enjoy this. Um, I'll see you all on all my other socials. But for now, that's going to be it. This has been Tatro for ADSR. Have a good one.